Hello and welcome to my Five Nights at Freddy's Lego Mark. I will be showing you around the full Five Nights at Freddy's Lego creation and be going around every single room around this cool mark that I made. Enjoy and let's get started. So first off you have the main sign up there. It's the main sign. The normal main sign of the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Down below it we have two windows which show the main stage wall. We have a window showing an unused room, a couple of wooden planks, just to make it a little more spooky. Now over here we have some pizza decorations, and all the way on this side we have a Celebrate poster, and of course another Halloween festival thing, making it a little more spooky. We have two main doors, of course, open close just like a decent lego door should do now on the inside here we do have some pizza decorations on the walls on, mainly all around the pizzeria and over here we do have a poster saying fun time over here is where you walk in and you go straight, mainly going down there, but you can also take a little bit down there. So here is the dining area, down in the middle of the restaurant, the main part of the restaurant mainly. Over here is the show stage where the animatronics perform. I currently don't have the animatronics up there because I just don't. I just wanted to show them around without the animatronics. Over here, we have an endoskeleton with some animatronic parts in the backstage room. Over here we have Pirate's Cove and it says it's out of order. Now an animatronic called Foxy is supposed to be in here. There's also supposed to be a roof on this, around it, and on the main whole pizzeria itself. I just didn't put it on, it would just be lots more stress to put it off. Over here we have the supply closet. Let me get a good angle here. There's an easter egg in the supply closet and the easter egg is that there is one for each character. The one for each character, there is of course a brown one for Freddy, a purple one you can kind of see it if I move back here, for Bonnie. And then Chico, yellow, foxy, red, and then endoskeleton repairs is silver. Over here, we have the West Hall, which has some posters on it. Some random scribbles I just did. I couldn't be bothered writing anything on those. And a poster over here that says, let's party. These posters were all printed out and sticked on with with salazate. As you can see, these kind of marks in it while I'm recording using the flash. Over here, we do have the Pirates Co. I mean, the prize corner, which is where the puppet normally stays. The puppet figure isn't here, just like everyone else, which isn't here. Over here is the East Hall which has some posters and the rules of safety. Don't want to miss those ones. Um, over here we have the kitchen. There's a vent over there which leads into the kitchen into the hallway. It was just an idea from another YouTube video. So over here we have an oven, a tap, an Easter egg over here as well, which is a coffee machine. 
from one of Scott's other games. And we have five cents on a wooden counter. We have a door, which I'll show later. Over here we have the toilet. It's a toilet. And of course, there is some toilet paper. Same on the side. Toilet and the toilet paper. Don't want to miss out on the toilet paper. Normally, there's a hallway in here. Just goes around here. There's an entrance over there, which leads into the bathrooms. But I didn't have enough room. And also, there's no doors in here. So people can just come around the corner and just pee while you, while you were going to watch. And yeah, maybe I will add some doors in there later. Yeah, over here. Pushing on this door. You can open it up and we do safe room. Now don't mind the blood on the ground of this room. Um there is some there is some arcade machines and a glitched arcade machine. So the other two arcade machines are turned off. Okay, now we're gonna come all the way to the back. Over here. I like to go this one, the stop motion wall. It's a pack wall, and each wall actually comes down to get a good view of your stop motion. So, and you're gonna put these walls Back in place. That didn't come off fully, but you can still do it. So that views the Soul and West wall for, for stop motion. And these single ones actually show you where each wall is. Even though you can kind of view it from above. Now here you grab onto the scutter and you pull it down. Move it out of the way and got your main stop motion room, which is the office. So, here in the office is a celebrate poster, some monitors, a cupcake, a fan, some a drink, and some scraps that somebody doesn't like the paperwork here. Obviously, there is couple of doors I click on these buttons they round not square like in the game I just didn't have the pieces for it when this I actually made this now over here there's a random piece yeah you can see the dust I might give this a dust sometime soon and this leads by the supply closet and then there's a hallway so it's just a spare part of the restaurant over on this side there's another spare part of the restaurant this actually never used to be here and it's why i've done the remastered edition of this pizzeria which leads into the kitchen and as you can see this door which i said i was going to show later is here and you can see it you can shut it pretty easy as well So that's about it for this Lego Five Nights at Freddy's mock. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now I'll probably be doing a Lego review. A Lego like minifigure review on each figure of mine. And yeah, I don't have that much figures anymore than what I used to. As seen on my Instagram. Go follow my Instagram, official Lego FNAF. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching 9 minutes of me showing around my Lego Five Nights at Freddy's mark. As you can see, the pieces didn't really stay together as I'd hoped. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed it. And bye.